All right, further up the coast in Virginia Beach, our David Culver is monitoring what's happening there. Now, the city is under uh, a Sandbridge section of the city under a mandatory evacuation. But let's get the latest now from David Culver. Hey, David. Hey, Don. Yeah, that mandatory evacuation kicked in just a few minutes ago. That's when it took effect. And as you mentioned, it's for Sandbridge. In fact, Art Khan, Tony your side's Art Khan, got back just a short time ago. He updated me on what it was like in Sandbridge. He said the evacuation was going orderly. And for the most part, most of the residents decided to leave the area. So it seems that they are taking the warning that officials are giving them this morning. Meanwhile, back here at the oceanfront, as you can tell, it's really shaping up to be a nice day. But uh, right now, as we speak, officials of Virginia Beach Emergency Management are behind a closed door meeting discussing even further evacuations. A perfect day shaping up at the oceanfront. Um, yeah, the waves are incredible today. You know, the wind hasn't picked up too much and the conditions are the best we've seen all week. By the looks of things, you'd never guess Irene was just hours away. But emergency officials meeting right now. We're looking right now at our low lying areas, the category one flood zones. Um, right now, the city planners are looking at that and trying to determine if we need to expand those evacuation zones. Lifeguards on duty for now. Oh, if you're going to come out here today, check with the lifeguard on the condition. But as the day goes on, we are going to see an increase in the wave height. We're going to see the winds pick up. And all of those are factors for us to really start restrict swimming. And at some point during the day, we'll probably restrict swimming so that nobody's allowed to go in the water. Now, right now, of course, we're taking this scaffolding down. In that little room there, that's where the live webcast is going on. That'll be finished at 2.40 today. Then we'll begin to break that down. We're going to stay here running heats today to about 7 or 8 o'clock. Then we plan to come back on Sunday morning. Once the hurricane goes past us, the winds go offshore, the sun comes out. Hopefully we won't have any damage and we'll be able to start the competition back up. Near 2nd Street, the East Coast surfing competitions are underway. And so too is construction. Tournament director Paul West has been doing this for 32 years. In addition to the tournament, his focus is on getting the scaffolding down so it doesn't pose a hazard. But look behind that smile, you'll see worry. I'm always smiling and really everybody thinks, you know, I'm laid back and uh, that's the game face. Inside, um, my mind's going a million miles an hour and my stomach's, of course, flip flopping. Surfers enjoying the waves today, but even the pros say they're keeping out of the water tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, there's going to be no way. I won't even go out there tomorrow. It's going to be, uh, you know, stay indoors and uh, hopefully Sunday afternoon or something it cleans back up and we'll get some good waves again. And we just got this piece of information and Virginia Beach emergency officials are urging mobile home residents. They have issued a mandatory evacuation for them as well. So mobile home residents, officials are suggesting that they consider leaving the area in light of Erlene. We're, of course, continuing to follow all of this. We want to mention all sorts of emergency shelters have been set up in Virginia Beach. They take effect as soon as 6 o'clock tonight. You can find information on that on wavy.com. For now, they're reporting in Virginia Beach. David Colbert, 10 on your side. All right, interesting to hear the folks from ECSC still have a lot of hope about getting that competition on. Uh, hopefully those structures will not become a hazard and with, with uh, Stan the Storm mm -hmm. earlier this morning as we were talking with David, it seemed like those, those structures would have to come down. Yeah.